Here is my little friend, Solomon. Woo, Solomon is a California king snake. And California king snakes are typically black and white. But in this case, this little guy is pink and yellow. And you might wonder, well, how on earth did that happen? And the answer is because he's an albino. And albinos are lacking in the pigment that make animals or people dark. So he doesn't have the ability to have dark skin or dark um, scales. So instead of darkness, he has, uh, his scales are almost clear. Like you can see, it's his body that's pink under his scales, but he's got these yellow bands. So normally either his, his body would be black and he'd have white bands or his body would be white and he'd have black bands. Because he's an albino, uh, his body is pink and he has yellow bands. And as he gets older, that pink will turn white. So he'll kind of look like popcorn with a white body with yellow, yellow stripes. It's, it's kind of funny. I'm, I'm wearing this uh, glove not because he's so ferocious, but because he is nippy. He likes to bite when I take him out. He's, uh, he's not very friendly. He doesn't like to be messed with. So California king snakes, depending on who they are, and each one of them has a different temperament, but they're very nervous, at least in my experience. Very nervous little snakes. They, they, they freak out sometimes. They love, one thing that they do that's kind of cool is they love to whack their tail around super, super fast. And sometimes they'll smack it against the ground or against the, uh, the wall of their tank. And it almost sounds like a rattlesnake. So they do a sort of a mimicking of rattlesnakes when they're hungry and feeding or when they're super scared and they whack that tail around super fast. And it sounds like a rattlesnake. Um, Funny enough though, the fascinating thing about king snakes is the reason why they're called king snakes is because they eat other snakes. They're cannibals. And a king snake's favorite food, at least a California king snake like Solomon, is rattlesnakes. So if you do not like rattlesnakes and you think that uh, you never want to come into contact with a rattlesnake out in the wild, then you should be really thankful that we have California king snakes because they love to eat rattlesnakes. So they help keep the population of rattlesnakes in check, which is very helpful to humans. Um, let's see. What else should they know about you, Solomon? Solomon is about two or three years old. And I don't know if you can see it, but his eyes are red, really bright red. Maybe you can see that. Maybe you can't. You can see all the way through his eyes. You can see the blood vessels in his eyes. That's, that's what happens when you're an albino and you've got that albinism where there's no pigment. So you can see way deep inside to his eyes. So that's really interesting. You can, t you can typically spot an albino by just looking at their eyes. Even if you see a snake with a, a skin color like this, that doesn't necessarily mean they're an albino. Sometimes they could be called a leucistic snake. But look at the eyes. If the eyes are red, that typically means they're an albino. So Solomon is, uh, he's, he's one of my oldest snakes. I've had him for, you know, the, the longest of, I think, most of my snakes. I think he was the first one that I ever had. And um, he likes to just kind of hang out in his desert tank and he gets really excited when I feed him mice and he whacks his tail around and it sounds like he's a little rattlesnake rattling around in his cage. When he gets older, he'll be about maybe six feet long, but again, a pretty slender body. He's obviously not very heavy bodied. He's lived this long and he's still only this, this thick, which is not very thick. So they don't get to be really heavy bodied uh, snakes, but anyway, he's, he's a pretty fun snake and I've had him for a while. I wouldn't necessarily recommend a king snake for your first snake if you've never had one before because they really don't like to be touched or held, but they are pretty. So if you want a snake that can kind of just sit in his tank and be left alone the whole time and looked at, um, king snakes are a great choice for that. All right, that's all. Say bye, Solomon.